I am Anil Kumar and we will summarize parallel and perpendicular lines in this video. So let's start with parallel lines. Now what are parallel lines? Parallel lines are lines which have same slope. So they have same slope. Now is that all? They should have different y-intercept. So these are two properties. So whenever you're talking about parallel lines, we're talking about lines with same slope but different y-intercept, right? So let us sketch two lines which are parallel. So let us say we have a line here which is going through the origin. And this line is, let's say, y equals to x. Now a line which is parallel to this line should have the same slope. Slope is 1. So any line parallel will be kind of like this. right? So that becomes a parallel line. And we can always write the equation of that line as y equals to x plus the y-intercept. Okay. So y-intercept has to be different. Let's say this y-intercept is, is 4. Then the equation of this line is y equals to x plus 4. You get an idea, right? Let me give you another example. So this time, let's take a line which is having a negative slope. Let's say that is the line. And y-intercept for this line is, let's say, minus 3. And let us say the slope is, this is 3 in this part. Let us take this as minus 2. Then the slope will be rise over run. Rise is negative 3. Run is 2. So we can write the equation of this line as y equals to minus 3 over 2 x and the y-intercept is minus 3, so we'll write minus 6. So that becomes the equation of a line which I've just drawn in green. Now, can you tell me the equation of a line which can be parallel to this line? So equation of a line which is parallel to this line should be y equals to Okay, let me write down here. Should be uh, y equals to same slope, right? So, so we say minus three over two x, but it could have any other y-intercept. Now, if we know that that particular line is going through a point, in that case, we can easily find slope. We know the slope. We can easily find the y-intercept and write down its equation. And let's say it goes through a point. P, which is at, let us say, 2, 1. Okay. In that case, equation will be, we'll replace x with 2, y with 1, and find b. So we have 1 equals to minus 3 over 2 times 2 plus b. And this 2, 2 cancels. Minus 3 comes on this side. So we get b equals to 4. So I've kind of cut down on steps. Okay. But I hope you understand what I did. So 3 times 2 is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we just cancel it off, minus 3. Take minus 3 to this side. So 1 plus 3 is 4. So b equals to 4. Once we know that, then we can write the equation of the line as y equals to minus 3 over 2x plus 4. You get an idea, right? So the line, which is going to be parallel to this line and which passes through 2 and 1 will be here. So it could be drawn like this. Do you see that? Y-intercept is 4 parallel to the line given in green and you'll find that this line goes through a point to 1, right? So it goes through a point to 1. So that could be that could be a point which is to 1. Do you see that? So that is how you can get equation of a line which is parallel. Okay, now let's look into perpendicular lines. So parallel lines have same slope but different y-intercept. Now the question for you is if the y-intercept is same, what happens? If I have same y-intercept, lines will be overlapping and they will have infinite number of points of intersections, correct? Parallel lines do not have any point of intersection, right? So we always say that parallel lines, you say parallel lines 
form inconsistent system that is to say that they do not intersect they do not intersect so there is no point of intersection between two parallel lines okay so that is very important to understand now let's look into perpendicular lines so let us sketch perpendicular lines and then uh, we will write down few equations for them so let us say this is a line which has a y intercept of 1 and equation of the line is y equals to half x it is positive slope half x plus 1 so that means rise over run is 1 over 2 right so if I move one unit down or up one unit up I move two units so this point here is is at 2 2 2 2 it is 2 2 sorry 2 2 so this point is at let us say 2 2 so that is the point which we have so we have rise over run so coordinates are 2 2 this coordinate is 0 1 and therefore when we so 2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 minus 0 is 2 so we get 1 over 2 as the slope so that becomes the equation of this line now the question is can you write down equation of a perpendicular line to the given line which also goes through point 2 2 right so what should be the equation of a line which is perpendicular that means at right angles kind of like this do you see that a perpendicular line going through the point 2 2 well slope of perpendicular line is negative reciprocal now here the slope m1 of this line is half so slope of the other line should be let me use another ink m2 which is perpendicular line should be negative reciprocal so 2 over 1 or you can say negative 2 so this is for the perpendicular line and therefore we can write down the equation y equals to minus 2x plus b now since this line goes through the point 2 2 we can substitute 2 for x and 2 for y so we have 2 equals to minus 2 2 plus b and we get 2 and minus 2 times minus 2 is 4 bringing it to this side with this plus 4 so we get 6 as equals to the y intercept so this point will be 6 for us and therefore the equation could be written as y equals to minus 2x plus Six, right so I hope that is clear so perpendicular lines always intersect at a point so they intersect at a point correct and the slope is negative reciprocal you can also say that for perpendicular lines m1 times m2 is minus 1 so that is what it means when I say uh, they are perpendicular and that also means that m1 is equals to negative of 1 over m2 so we say negative reciprocal right so this is what we mean by saying negative reciprocal right so this is negative reciprocal okay so that is how we understand perpendicular and parallel lines now important note here is to consider lines which are horizontal and vertical right so so we'll summarize horizontal and vertical lines in a separate video but kind of give you an idea here horizontal lines written as horizontal lines will be y equals to b in general vertical lines will be x equals to a where a and B are X and Y intercepts right so in general let's sketch one here so let me sketch a horizontal line let's say like this where this point is the Y intercept B and let me sketch a vertical line let's select this where the X intercept here is A in that case point of intersection will always be AB 
So, horizontal and vertical lines are always perpendicular and their point of intersection are A and B. If A is the x-intercept for the vertical lines and B is the y-intercept for horizontal line. Okay, and as you know, all horizontal lines will be parallel and all vertical lines will also be parallel. Right, so that is how we can actually summarize equations of lines and understanding of our per parallel and perpendicular lines. I hope that is clear. Thank you and all the best.